Hi friends, welcome to your gentle prenatal Pilates class. Today's class is designed to help you increase your energy, build strength, maintain muscle tone while relieving or preventing back or hip pain that's common during pregnancy. This workout routine is all trimester friendly. As always, listen to your body. You know your body best. Anytime during the movement, if anything feels painful, pause, a check in with yourself and move forward accordingly. Feel free to hit pause if you need rest or you need to take a break overall. Listen to your body, honor your body and that growing baby inside of your belly. I myself did Pilates during both of my pregnancy and it was quite a blessing and I'm so thankful for it. So I'm excited to share this gift with you as we do this gentle prenatal Pilates to help you keep moving forward and embrace and empower yourself. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with our hands by your side and set the shoulders down your back, sitting tall. Now, if you're uncomfortable seated in this position, you can change your feet position to where you have your, perhaps your feet touch, perhaps you're elevated on top of a pillow or rolled up towel. So find a good seated position for yourself here. And if you need to sit on a chair, that's perfectly fine too. We're just gonna take a moment to close your eyes and find our center. So taking a big breath in, filling up your lungs with fresh air, and as you exhale, letting your shoulders soften. Big breath in, lengthening the spine up, creating more space for that growing belly. And exhaling, letting go of any heaviness you feel on the neck or the shoulders. Full breath in, breathing into your ribs, letting the belly expand with fresh air. And as you exhale, gently hugging the belly, hugging the baby, engaging gently your stomach so you're not over contracting there, just gently hugging the baby, wrapping front to back, back to front, that 360 effect, exhaling out all the air. And deep breath in, feeling the whole body stretch with the breath coming in. And exhaling out, hugging the baby with the belly. So engaging those abdominal muscles gently, wrapping front to back, back to front with intention, not tension there. Keeping the shoulders back over the hips. And now come back to your natural rhythm of breath. And we're going to go into some pelvic floor exercises here. So as we take this moment to center ourselves, focus your attention to your pelvic floor. And imagine your pelvic floor it has three different stories. So you're just going to start from the very bottom of your pelvic floor. So we're going to go up the stories as we exhale. So let's go ahead and inhale to prepare. And exhale, lift the front part of your very bottom part of the pelvic floor up towards the second, and then the third, and inhale to relax. And exhale, lifting the pelvic floor muscles up to the front, in the first, second, and the third story, and just relax the pelvic floor muscles. So this time I want you to really think about the whole pelvic floor from front to back, back to front. All of this is very important. Our Pelvic floor is very important during pregnancy and post, right? So let's go and engage all of the pelvic floor muscles from the very top, from the very bottom, lifting up to the middle and to the very top, holding here with intention. There's no gripping, just a gentle engagement. And then release the pelvic floor muscles. Engaging the pelvic floor muscles, rising up. So imagine you're zippering up from bottom to top, holding with intention. And gently release those pelvic floor muscles. And one more time, engaging those pelvic floor muscles. And releasing the pelvic floor muscles here. From here, bring both hands towards me. Give me two thumbs up. We're gonna go into upper back stretch. Keep looking at that thumb as you rotate that palm back. Looking back here and gently bring it back in. So as you progress throughout your pregnancy, this range of motion might change, but this exercise always feels so good to open the chest and the upper back, especially as your belly grows. And in, 
might feel more tightness in the upper back. I definitely did during my pregnancy, and I love this exercise. And you can do it anywhere, right? Opening back, and in, last one, open back, and in, and rest the hands on your knees, going into pelvic tilt back. So gently articulate your pelvis back behind you, and then your lower back, and your mid back. So you're just gently hugging the belly, not crunching here, just hugging the belly, stretching your low back. So it's more of a stretch for your back, not compressing the stomach here. And then bring the spine back into neutral, lengthening the spine back up. We're just stretching the low back here. Feels really good for that circulation. And up. Listening to your body, find the range of motion and movement that feels best for you today. And bring it back in. One more time, so gently stretching back here. And return all the way back in. From here, bring both arms up towards the ceiling and place the hands behind your head for spine twist with bent elbow. Lengthen the spine up towards the ceiling and gently turn side, exhale, exhale, and inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale, and in. Gentle rotation here, keeping the neck long, and center, turn, turn. One more time, and back to your center, lower the hands down. Let's go side lying onto the mat. So from here, you're gonna stack yourself against the back edge of the mat, and bend both knees, stack them on top of each other here, and laying down on your hand here. So you can have your head up or hand completely down. Stack those legs here and both the top leg comes straight forward and kick the leg forward, flexing the foot and reaching back. Kick forward and lengthen back. So go to a point where you feel good balance position. You can always use pillows to support you as well. And slowly reaching back. This is really good for, especially um, during my pregnancy, I had Second pregnancy, I had sciatica problems, so this is one of the series, the side leg kick series was so good to help relieve it and prevent it. And reach back. One more, and reaching back, going into up and down, slightly turn that top leg up towards the ceiling, and your leg is still out in the diagonal here, and go up and down. Lift and lower. You don't have to go as high as me, Find what feels good for you today. And I definitely wasn't going as high up here when I was pregnant. So, you know, find what feels good today. Last one. And here, bend the knees, stack the legs, going into our clamshell. So bend those knees out into a slight diagonal here. So we have a little bit more space for that growing belly as we open that leg and close. Open and close. Shoulders are stacked, out and in. Feeling those glutes engaged, this is really good for building that whole pelvic strength, right? We're carrying the belly, carrying the baby, so we wanna have stability and strength in that mid part of our body. Last one, and close. From here, you're gonna go ahead and turn over onto your back and rock yourself up. So we're gonna go into a figure four stretch here. You're gonna cross your leg over and hold here for a stretch. Now, if you're comfortable here, you can stay here. If you were looking for a little more of a stretch, you can slightly tilt the pelvis to one side and in. Now, as you progress through your pregnancy, this might change and that's perfectly fine. Keep the chest lifted. It's a really good upper back stretch, right? One more time. Let's do one more time, actually. And in, uncross your leg. Bring yourself up to seated and let's go to the other side. Gently lay down, use your arms to assist you, and stack the legs, bend the knees, shoulders and hips are stacked, top leg comes forward, flex the foot forward, and then reach it back behind you. Kick, and flex back. Feels so good to flex the foot, feeling that stretch through the hamstring and the calf and the ankle, especially during pregnancy, those areas get kind of tender and tight. And reach back.
Last one. Reaching back. Turn that top leg up towards the ceiling and bring it right next to the corner of the front of the mat. Going into diagonal, go up and down. Up and down. Imagine I'm stretching that leg away from the hip. So a really good way of releasing the hip away. Really good for relieving tight hips that often happens, right, during pregnancy. Last one. Down, bend the knees, stack the legs, going into clamshell. So I'm gonna bring that thigh out into a diagonal a little bit more, create more space for the growing belly, and open and close. Inhale and exhale. Let the breath guide you and support you. Hug the belly in, just gently hugging the baby with your belly. So not over recruiting the stomach there. We're just gently engaging and hugging the baby there. Last one, close the leg, turn over onto your back, use your arms to assist. Hands go behind here and then cross over that leg that you just worked very hard on, right? Strengthening those legs, hold here for a stretch. And you can add a little tilt. So my right side is a little tighter than the other side, I don't know about you. And tilting side to side and gently bring it back to center. Uncross your leg. And let's go ahead and go ahead and lay down onto our side. So I'm gonna go the other way. We're gonna go into a book stretch here. Stack the knees and then lay down side line. Stack your elbows here. Head is in your palm and gently open the top arm behind you, stretching the upper back. So in this position, everybody's unique. So just find a good position where you stretch, feel a stretch on your back or your chest without compromising tension on your stomach there. So just going back a little bit might be good enough for you today. Listen to your body and move position that feels good for you and then gently close bring the breath in opening your body letting the chest open shoulders open and gently close last one gently opening collarbone wide eyes up towards the sky and bring it back in Use your arms to assist and bring yourself back up and let's go to the other side. So side line position, elbows are bent and head is aligned with your spine, knees are stacked. Gently open that upper back behind you, just a little opening here and exhale in. Feels really good on the ribs as well. So opening, stretching, allowing the body to open and breathe. Last one, opening back, holding it here if you can. Four, three, two, one, and gently closing the shoulders. And use your arms to assist yourself back up to seated. And sit with your legs crossed, or you can sit with your legs apart, like so. Find a position that feels good on your hips today. So I'm gonna sit with my legs crossed here. Going into arm series here. Bring the hands to the side, reach them long down by the ground and raise your arms up and lower. So in a diagonal, engage your upper back and lower. So we wanna make sure we have beautiful, strong posture to help you stay strong through the pregnancy and also through the recovery because you got babies to hold, babies to feed and carry. So you want strong back, strong arms up and down. You can always add in a one to three pound weight, hand weights to the series to make it a little bit more challenging for you if you like, but without the weight it's just as fine. I did this during my pregnancy. Last one and lower the hands down, bring the hands to your side in small circles up around in it, moving in the shoulder girdle there so or the shoulder joints around and up engaging the upper back to lead small circles above all remember to keep breathing keep the ribs lifted off the hips around and up 
Lifting the pelvic floor muscles up towards your diaphragm. And pause, and let's go the other way. So going front and front. Out, around, and in. Out, around, and in. Breathe. And reach. And reach. Three, two, and one. And rest the hands by your side. Roll the shoulder blades back. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Go ahead and bring the hands back to your side. And turn your neck to one side. Turning the head and circle the neck down, around and up, and center, turning the head, circling down, around and in. Feels really good, stretching the neck, keep the shoulders away from those ears, and center, last one, and center, and closing the eyes, take a deep breath in. Let the breath come into your ribs, into your belly, and full breath out, softening the body, softening the face and the shoulders. Full breath in, coming in, rising, and full breath out, exhaling, feeling calm, centered, and focused and energized. And just take this moment to notice how good it feels to take this time for yourself, for your growing belly, for your growing baby, and congratulate yourself on working towards this healthy goal for yourself during your pregnancy. You will benefit from it and your baby will too. And gently open your eyes. You did it. Congratulations on completing your gentle prenatal Pilates. I'm so proud of you. You should be proud of yourself too. Keep coming back to this class throughout your pregnancy to keep moving well and living well and help you prepare for your delivery and postnatal recovery. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and let me know in the comments and I will see you again on your mat very soon.